Hey y'all, welcome back to Holler House. In this video, we're gonna be installing our sink. We should have done this quite a while back. It would have made life a lot easier for us. However, we have, we've just been putting it off. Um, I think a little, a little bit of burnout and then just kind of doing more of like outdoor work has um, kept us from getting installed until now. But yes, I love this bronze faucet. We got this on sale. It was actually in the clearance aisle at Lowe's, so we were pretty happy to have found this. I guess it was a special order. Somebody had returned, and it was definitely a good treat for us to find it there. And the rest of the, so like the, I guess the drains and the soap dispensers, I just ordered all of those off of Amazon hoping that they were the same color at least passing enough as, off as the same color as the sink or the faucet and um, I mean it all looks pretty good Now here we're putting the drains in. I always tell folks like this is definitely not like any kind of how-to video. This is really just showing the process um, of what we, the way we've done things. The instructions for this clearly said to put the white uh, gasket, I don't know if they called it a gasket, um, on the top side of the sink. That's not the way we did it. Um, he had watched a lot of other YouTube videos and things like that when it comes to installing these drains and he said it needs to go underneath. So that's just the way that we did it. Worst case scenario, if anything, any issues arise, I mean, it can always be redone, but um, so far we haven't had any issues with it and everything's working just fine. We did put plumber's putty on the under, um, underneath the, the rim of those drains, so I don't think that showed in the video. And here's just another one of those situations where we make life harder on ourselves a little bit. So we knew that we had to put silicone underneath the sink before we put it in, um, but we obviously didn't do it. And so here we are trying to hike the sink up and put this silicone underneath uh, the sink. Uh, it was heavy. We didn't really want to take it back out. Um, we were just kind of done at this point, so we did it this way. It still got done. I'm pretty sure it's fine. It just made things a little bit more difficult. I had to clean up more. It would have been a lot simpler if we just would have took the sink back out, but we didn't. So, again, one of those situations, like I said, where it's just sometimes like we, we can make things harder on ourselves. And I definitely would not recommend putting a crowbar uh, in direct contact with your, you know, I, I guess the cast iron sink. 
a porcelain sink, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Uh, thank goodness we didn't have any issues, didn't crack it or chip it or break it or anything like that. But, I, I mean, it just clearly it's just not the best idea putting something like that in contact with your sink. But, again, sometimes we just do things to get them done and we don't always do it the the greatest way possible and there's always great room for error and more frustration but thankfully for the most part things turn out And here's what we look like with everything done. It's still not completely finished. I need to put, I mean, obviously the, the whole house is not completely finished. I mean, we're working in, w with the time that we have and still need to put some, I guess, some sort of black backsplash up there or something, but it's a whole lot better than how it was. And I'm glad to have a functioning sink there. And now we got the dishwasher working, which is great. Um, so yeah. Here's what it looks like now, and in the next picture, I'm going to be showing kind of what we started with from the beginning, and it really looks like completely not the same place, but it is. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you've made it this far, um, just consider subscribing and liking this video. That really helps out. Thank you guys.